Online Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing aftershows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! This was a good pin, isn't it? You guys set this yes. up. Oh, when I was getting ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are. Another after show for State of Affairs, Season 1, Episode 4, Bang Bang. Oh, man, there's so much going on on this yes. show, ladies. I'm Steph Z, yes. and tonight on the panel, we've got the lovely... Hannah. And Robin Ayers. Oh yeah, let's just let's just jump right into it. All right, I'm gonna start it off with this. I feel like the first two episodes made me really excited that every beginning was gonna be crazy, and they're crazy. And this beginning and what this plays out to be is happening in our world and in our government is crazy. I know, oh, absolutely. But it's just not as action packed as the first. Couple. I know that that you want it to be. You want it to be like I wanna, intense. Yeah, like yeah. I want to turn the TV on and be like, this this is what I'm doing now. I'm watching State yeah. of Affairs. The world has stopped, True. and I'm focusing. <laughs> but it starts off a little bit a little bit more slow for me though, and eases me into what's happening instead of you like, like the ease. Well, I don't know. I like to I'm just be like thrown it. right into I the like deep within, water. Yeah, within the first two to three minutes, give me something, boom. And I don't yeah. know, maybe yeah. it was about four to five minutes-ish, yeah. you know? But it was a huge topic this time, though. Like, huge yeah. topic. Bold statements. Yeah. Bold, bold statements. So we start out in Cologne, Panama, and we see that there's, you know, for, uh, you know Red Cross responders or first aid responders mm -hmm. helping yeah. these people that they believe are sick with malaria, with malaria. and they're trying to give them vaccinations, um, and they're saying no to these vaccinations. They're scared. I think that's what, what's happening here. They're scared. They don't know what these Americans or what these people are trying right. to give them, and they're scared, yeah. which is really crappy if you think about it. Like, Could you imagine living in a place where you're really sick and you don't know if the person helping you is really helping you yeah. or if they're... Yeah, I well, mean, you, like, how great! Like, if you really just think about that for a minute, like we yeah. all take for granted that if we get sick, we go to the doctor, and for the most part, we trust what oh, they're gonna tell us. Right. Like, and doctors yeah. don't know everything, and there's, you know, whatever. But you, like, we never think like, oh, they're gonna poison me on purpose, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But just imagine, I I kind of put myself in their shoes. Yes, it's kind of crappy, and like they said, if these people would just take this pill, we would cut the 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 rate in half of malaria in half. That's what they right. said. But just imagine if we had a bunch of uh, Panam Panamanians. Is that what you said? <laughs> Panama. Go for in, it. We'll, uh, we'll let we'll go with that. Okay, y'all let me just ride with me. <laughs> okay. Ride with uh, you. Imagine if they came over here trying to give us something. You would flip out. You'd be like, no, because you you know someone speaking a foreign language is kind of scary for them, and they don't want them to get even more sick. So, you know, I kind of got that. But at the same time, they actually end up being right to feel that way because we come to find out that the U.S. government may have been dosing them with smallpox oh, the entire so time. That's so crazy. That's so, so justified. Crazy. That's so messed up. But it's so cra like It's have, so messed up. Yeah, but I have to give the show credit for doing that because that's a bold statement to make. So, right. like, put those very, thoughts even very, out there. I always think about statement. the fact that, you know, when we watch shows like this, they really do give you insight to what's really going on in our world. Like, their secrets. You're like, but things oh. that you may not have ever even known about or thought about, you're like, wow, that could really happen. And it right? probably really is. It really is. You know what? I totally suck because <laughs> I saw an article um, within the past week I saw an article about a C an ex CIA agent broke down one of the state of affairs episode oh, really? with what was kind of true to form and what was Ooh, wow. outside the box and I did not 
bring it with me tonight. I oh. honestly just remembered it right oh, now. I'll look through my um, emails to see if I emailed it to myself. Yeah. But if not, I'll bring that article. Because yeah, that's a memo very, for next week. That yeah, be they, they did something like that's happened. And I'm sure, like, there has to be, you know what I mean, like, the, this... Like, if they were really disclosing CIA stuff that wasn't public knowledge or, or you know, saying the CIA right. did these crazy things, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure, like, we haven't heard that this has happened in the past. But if it's, you know, not, quote, unquote, classified information, I guess it's fair game on what they could do for a show like this. I guess I so. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. But, yeah, that's crazy. But to even think about it, I'm just like, no. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. But it's true. I mean, so I see, like, I'm, like, such a conspiracy theorist, so this doesn't shock me. Right. Yeah. That much. It, it, like, it's it's shocking to see because in your head you go through all these things and you could be like, yeah, they totally did this. Yeah, they totally did this. But to actually see it, you're like, oh, wow. Right. They did this. It's true. Yeah. And to think it really could be possible. It's like one thing to create those ideas in your mind. But right. But then to see the potential of it playing out, you're like, man, that's really messed up. Yeah. yeah totally really, messed really up. Really messed up. Um, and, you know, even within this, there's layers of, of what's happening here in Cologne, how, you know, people come in to try and steal the pain meds. I know. Which yeah. was crazy, too. And it's like, what? But then that, that poses the question to me as if, why didn't they give the bad guys, like, the small packs? I mean, well, it I was spread and that would be a terrible but idea, But it made I guess. me wonder, though, but, if those people that were helping knew that they were I don't were think all, they knew. I don't, I don't think they so. like, I don't think they knew, so I don't think that they were giving it, and I could be totally wrong, but I don't think that they knew. I don't think that the people that they were treating had smallpox. I feel like it was something that was contained in there and it was easy to hide it there because it was a hospital already. I just feel like there may have been, like, somebody else, though, working in that basement that could have infected them with it without those workers being aware of it. I like see, this is my, my it. take yeah. on it, and I, I agree with you, yeah. I hear that, but my take on it is that something got spilt, like one of the virals got spilt um, in the earthquake. Because that, to, if you think about it, what was the whole purpose of that earthquake? And then they show showed, and then they took, that, yeah, yeah, and then they, they, the camera panned to the vials that were broken on the floor. So right. what was the purpose of that? I think that they actually did have malaria, or right. that they they at least believed that they had malaria, and then the vi the virals got you know broken, which you know yeah. clearly in the earthquake, and then maybe they were exposed. I but don't know. Then at the same time, though, they said it took like fourteen days for exposure to smallpox. To actually yeah, so I don't it. know that they would know. Yeah, but in know. the same <laughs> sense too, I feel like the malaria medicine and that we were talking earlier. Yeah. I've actually taken this vaccine vaccination yeah <laughs> uh to travel to vietnam years ago and it is something that you have to take like a month before you travel while throughout your trip and then you know for weeks after so if they've already have if they already have the disease they must be giving them medicine not vaccinations you know what i mean there's yeah. there's got to be something going on um there and how did those people get there like there's there's a lot of information left out and i feel like that's why a lot of the times we're like wait what's going on they should have right. showed it like but but they want you to string along because it kind of always ties in like we felt like there was a lot of information in the yeah. beginning missing <clears throat> in in the cologne scene mm -hmm. in the beginning but then it all ties back to you know a, a helicopter was flying overhead looking for nuclear right. stuff and they saw that there was a bunch of smallpox there so they thought people were infected mm -hmm. only to find out it was vials of a disease that american created disease this and, is crazy, man. And then yeah, you see how the president tries to, like, hide it immediately. There's of no... Of course they would. It's just... It's so messed up to me. It's so messed up. But it's, it's, it's what happens. Oh, God, I, I hate know. to think that. <laughs> it is. I, hate to think I know, that. but it's too deep, and it's beyond my uh, my realm of even thinking, like, so deeply into it. Because I don't know anything about malaria. I don't know anything about, like, the... You know, I'm finding out from the show. They're like, it takes a certain amount of right? days, you know. So it's just completely beyond me. And also, yeah. I just feel like... It's a testimony to these creators, too, because I feel like they're being bold in everything they're doing on the show. All, yeah. It's because, all been bold. Yeah. With the president. I mean, pretty much what they've also been saying. Go ahead. Go ahead. What are you going to But find even out? also with, like, Charleston's position, they are boldly making it obvious or saying that they think that position is almost more influential than the president. And, and that she's been compromised. Yeah. It's insane. And the president turned so many of these decisions to Charleston and it's like, pretend I don't hear this. You know what I mean? You take care of it. You make it work, Charles. I'm like, what? 
So yeah. it's no what like, is there another show? I mean, because they have different obviously presidential shows that come out, you know, yeah. from year to year or whatever season to season. But they always like get it. shut down. No, that's that. except like scandal. That's been I mean, forever. but then yeah, but scandal is not so much about well it no, it kinda is, yeah. It, because they get <laughs> more into Yeah, no, but how long is Homeland? <laughs> so Homeland's been on for like five six years. Newsroom is, is on its last Are season. They and I wonder why because like newsroom oh. goes well, newsroom kinda goes there. Newsroom okay. actually goes there. It. Newsroom <laughs> actually goes to events that have and I'm sure these events have happened. Um I don't know how much true to form these events, like these episodes are of events that happen, but Newsroom pretty much is like, you know, here's the Boston Marathon and what happened. And they show actual right. footage <clears throat> of like the Boston Marathon and President Obama oh, dressing wow. the nation. It's, it's very tied into what the news was. That's cool. Um, and it's last season. And Not it's a brilliant show, so I don't know why. Reason. Yeah. <laughs> I want to move oh. on and talk about. Um, Charlie getting the little thing downloaded in her phone. Can we talk about that? Yeah, let's talk about how crazy it is that, I don't know, somebody might be watching me through my camera right now <laughs> on my phone. Hello. It's bananas no. to think like that actually it it either does. could exist so, or it will exist. Somebody's no, there's no mind it could thought about or that. it will. It does. It does. I know. That's, I know. That's what it really does. So we're getting so close to finding out, you know, I think uh, just about all of our little theories, a little bit of our theories are coming true. Yeah, you know, we're right. watching it unfold because it is so exciting to see, like, we're getting closer and closer. Like, who is it? Who's the texter? You know? Yeah. Talk yeah. about it. Yeah, I know no, you want so, to. It's so, it's so crazy. But, um, okay, so shall we move into, you know, what we think? Well, I think or we should, you can move not into Not theories. I don't want to, not, pre not predictions. There's still a lot, <laughs> a lot to go, to go over before yeah. we get yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there. okay, good. I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'm gonna leave it up to you. All right, let's go back to Charlie's flashbacks. <laughs> Clearly, we see that there's a breakdown and a bonding between Charlie and Fada and Nick. We see that happening right. in the boat. We see all that happening. Then we find out that the person who took the pictures was someone who was also on the boat. Right. But that person is not the one that is texting. Right. But that person, quote unquote, sold the pictures. So there's a whole nother layer of where these, now it's not just in one person's hands who was there. It's one person who, like, how did the people that wanted the, the photos know to buy them from him? Like, there's a lot going well, on. They say it's that group Krieg, which is apparently right. the all powerful yeah. group or whatever. But what right. I don't understand about that is if that is the case and they're this huge, horrible group, why is Charlie, who was in the CIA, does not know about this group at all and has to be educated on it? She might know, but what I believe Nick was saying was that she doesn't know that Sid was a part of it and, and she okay. doesn't know that Nick was a part of it. Because we see that both of those two guys, who are kind of almost her safe place in a way, right. both have, you know been in bed with this group in one way or another. Yeah. Right. So, and and I don't know, like, once we get there, too, with relationships, I feel like part of me thought that Charlie was playing everybody, but I don't know, is everybody playing Charlie? Maybe. Is Nick playing Charlie? I think Nick is playing Charlie. And, I and think you he think is. Nick is playing Charlie and has a partner in crime, don't you? I sure do, and I said that last time, and I, <laughs> and I, and, and I feel like it really is. Don't you guys agree now that I said Maureen is in bed with Nick, not literally, but I'm yeah, just saying like, like they're partners. They're, yeah. yeah, they're in cahoots. They're right? up to I something. I don't know. I'm still you don't know. know. I still don't know either. I'm still pointing mm. my fingers at Lucas. Like Lucas is the, the new am. guy, right? I feel like it I may be like too obvious, be, yeah. but but maybe not. But I still think he's doing. I don't know if he is behind all of this, but I think he's still doing something wrong. So well, he, here's how we're uh, we're kind of getting to that point. There was clearly um, something that she had found, right? That yes. said that something was coming from the seventh floor. So now we could at least boil it down to somebody on the seventh floor. And she says from her team, right? Yes. And the way that we find that out is because that crazy thing that we were talking about earlier where she meets this mysterious woman in the parking garage that says, when you feel ready, text yes. a certain thing back to a certain number. And then all of a sudden you're going to be able to hear the outgoing 
you're gonna be able to hear what's yes. going on in the phone. Like the the mic on the phone is gonna become a recording device rather than a right. thing you speak into, which is crazy. <laughs> so, and I like to. The show's very smart, and I like that the first thing we hear is that French translator, which we think is just so mm -hmm. doesn't have play any part at all. And then we see it plays actually a very important part. Right. And we see her find that in the burn room, or she she goes to the guy who was um, you know trying to learn French. And he says that Dash. Who's Dash? Yeah, I was trying to figure that out too. I don't know, and I was wondering. We're gonna that... have to look that up, <laughs> guys out there. If, who's Dash? Are we missing something? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, and and take this into consideration. We watch the show. We go on live right afterwards, so we don't get to rewind. We don't get to like look over things. So we're not quite clear on who yeah. Dash is. So we'd love your help. Let us know who Dash is. <laughs> um, but he said that Dash made him throw it in the burn shoot. So then she goes to the burn shoot, she finds the phone that, and then she finds a phone yes. that is close to that, and also she finds confidential papers that have her name on them. So we're assuming that... It's somebody from the fourth or the seventh floor. But and, who would be the one that has and Maureen, her cup? Okay, there it two is. people... <laughs> okay, I guess now the two people are Maureen, that we think, and possibly Lucas. Right. Well, let me let me. I'm say, not on the boat for Lucas yet. Okay, I'm on the boat for Maureen. Okay, <laughs> but here's the here's the thing that I want to give the show credit for. Everything that they do, everyone who's on the show, every little minute thing that we may not pay attention to actually has a purpose. Everything it does. Yeah, it's it does. all pieces of the big yeah. puzzle. And that's almost why I think we feel so confused at certain times. Because yes. we're like, wait, that yeah. could fit with this. Yeah, we're paying but attention that could fit to, to everything. This. And mm -hmm. that, yeah, there's nothing that's kind of that irrelevant. Yeah, sure. exactly. Because right. usually we're just watching a show just to watch the show because we enjoy it. But now, like, to sit and sort of try to figure out and depict what's going on is a whole other thing. True. So we kind of got to pay attention to all the details. Right. That's exciting. It is exciting. Some of the other details that we learn um, in this episode is about, you know, the president's relationship with one of the senators, Senator yes. Green, and we're not exactly sure why their relationship is so rocky, but we it's very clear that they don't see eye to eye on things. Yeah. And they have differences. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, you know, within that, I don't know, you know, Senator Green comes to the president and says, I kind of want you to be prepared. I can't tell you exactly why, but there's right. going to be something shocking that comes out in the briefing about Aaron's death. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, do we believe that she's that's sincere? Or do we think that she's just trying to be like, ha ha, I know, and you don't, and it has to do with your son, and you're the president? I don't know, because I'm sure that it's meant to be kind of set up that way, but even just in the way that she acted, she seemed more sincere and genuine than the president did, in my opinion. I yeah. think the, it's always obvious, like the obvious answer, I always try to go against it. Right. Because the obvious answer would be, okay, she's probably, you know, trying to set her up or there's, you know, she's not really yeah. on her side, something like that. But maybe there is some sort of uh, sincerity there. I felt like it was sincere. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I'm not right. quite sure if it's because there's going to be a favor wanted in return mm. you know what i mean but i don't oh, think wow. it was so maybe it's insincere in that way but i don't think it was ingenuine as to right. ha ha i know more information about right. your exactly. son so to speak and we do find that out as well we find out um you know there's a lot going on here mm. we find out that the bullet that killed aaron came from a cia's gun <sighs> yeah. a cia's gun that belong to, to Nick. Nick. Oh, Nick. <laughs> Nick is everywhere. Listen, Nick is... I still I think it's Charlie for whatever reason that killed Aaron. I really, really do. I think I think it's Charlie too. I think so too. I think she pulled that, that trigger. Moment when she said to Fada, I wanna kill people too. Yes. And that's Yes. <laughs> right, but is that too blatant? No. Or is the whole yeah. reason why she's gotten <laughs> into the CIA to disrupt? I mean, oh, maybe. Like, is the whole deep. reason, you know what I mean? Like, is yeah. her whole presence in the CIA off? Like, is she just there? Is she just completely corrupt? Uh, if she is, she is playing that role extremely I mean, well. because she's, she's up. Yeah. <laughs> she's got some issues. But we right? see, but... we see, even when, uh, I believe his name was Jack, even when Jack, was that his name? 
wanted to go back yes, in. Yes, Jack. Um, even when he wanted, you know, as we see the Americans have a special mission um, to go into Cologne to get this smallpox virus that's in the basement. It's supposed to be a very secretive mission. No one's supposed to know about it. So I think from watching it, what we gather is that they were unaware that there was people in that place. Yes. Because they, they seemed very shocked. They, they weren't supposed to be seen by anybody. Mm -hmm. And then Jack, one of the soldiers that was down there, saw that there was people, clearly sick people, um, clearly infected, and he wanted to bring them back a vaccination. And you see Charlie's first response is no. Mm -hmm. And then she kind of gets talked into it. So does she really not care? Is there a level of her that doesn't care? Hmm. Or is like maybe reckless? Possibly, or Possibly. she's just doing her job. Maybe she's just, you know, I'm trying to play devil's advocate yeah, here. Yeah, I like Maybe it. Maybe she's like just it. like, listen, we weren't cleared for that. That wasn't the mission. Just come on back and we'll handle that. I really feel like she had the intention of actually sending somebody back with vaccinations. But, yeah. he, you know, it's hard. He was, Jack was there. He's looking at these people. He's like, let me just go in now. Right. So, you know, two completely different sides. But I feel like she was genuine there. Okay. I think so, too. I okay. Know. Yeah. I think um, so. so we see that, and and again, how we were saying all of these things are pieces to this puzzle. How that directly relates to Jack being the one that then gets caught, I and they know. think that it's a spy, and then the president is like, "No, we have to get him because Jack's the one that saved me." Exactly. Which made me happy because I was like, I literally thought the president was just going to be like, "Well." We gotta go, is what it is. Yeah, but see, that shocked. there lies the point that everything is very important. It's every true. single person that's placed in the stories is important. It always comes back. So, it's you know, true. that's a great example of that. So yeah. we'll see. You know, that's kind of yeah. interesting. And we'll see. I wonder if we're how getting him out is going to play, how this disease is going to play. Um, you know, we see, again, there's, I feel like there's, they're building for something with the relationship of the president and Marshall how they're sitting at the table and they're talking about, remember when we started on the bus and we got here together yeah. and there's all this together and I feel like there's going to be a very big divide when it yes. comes to maybe the information that comes out about Aaron's death or whatever. Like I feel like it's <laughs> it's it's leading us, like it's dangling it's the somewhere. carrot yeah, for us to be like, go up and grab it and then fall. <laughs> okay, so remember a couple of episodes ago when I said that I felt like uh, the president... Not that she had something to do with Aaron's death, but maybe she knew about it or yeah. something happened, right? I could be wrong about that. But what right. I think still is that he said, she's, she's not the same woman that I married. I think that just that one line alone says something. I think it says something to like her character and the person that she is right now than what she used to be. So I feel like the president is, we might find out something about her that you know we weren't expecting. Because right now, how they're doing it, they're doing a great job of leading our eyes and our imagination to Lucas, to Maureen, to Charlie, yeah. to Nick. We don't know if it's Sid. We don't know. So they're doing a great job of making us think that and directing our attention completely away from the president. Oh, she's the president. President. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like something might happen to where we're like, what? You know, yeah, we weren't expecting right. that. Well, uh, maybe her and Charlie are working together. Maybe Charlie. No, I don't know. That's just crazy. Maybe that one was a little bit out of there. I'm sorry about that. That was a little bit. That was crazy. You had a moment. <laughs> I just had a moment. I mean, it could be, though. You never know. Like, that's the craziest thing about this show is it's so intense. It's so real. But mm -hmm. who knows how real it really is? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know that was very, you know, whatever with the real a lot. But it's it's <laughs> very, um, it's intriguing to me. I really, really like this show. Yeah, I'm I do too. I'm such a fan. And I, Catherine Heigl, I think she is, I really think she's so great. She's I mean, great. She's growing on me. I didn't feel that way the first episode. I really okay. didn't. Okay. But she's definitely, her character is really, really growing on me. She's growing on me in it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this episode was the first time I've seen her kind of play both sides a little bit more. She seemed sweeter this episode. A lot of her flashbacks with the dealings with Fada and mm -hmm. her wanting to actually speak with Fada instead of just, you know, beat things out of him, it showed a different side of her, I thought. It was a little bit kinder. See, I just yeah. don't believe it yet. 
I don't. I I love her and I love her character and I love her acting. Like I think she's great, but I don't believe that it's genuine. Like I don't believe that she wants to have a calm talk with Fada just because she doesn't want Nick to beat his face in. I believe she wants something out of this. She's really Mm, smart. She even said it in her in her own words. Like she was like, "I'm usually really good at this stuff." Like she knows angles, you know. And I think she's smart. I'm excited to see what happens with. with her character and the director, because we still don't know what's up with the director yet. Because yeah. you know what I'm saying, the, oh, yeah. the new the new guy who she works mm-hmm. for, you know, that's kind of interesting too. And we no one said yet that we think he has anything to do with yeah. it, which he might not. I don't know, but there's still something up with his character. Yeah, there's something. I, mean, I honestly, I don't know why this is resonating with me, but I feel like Lucas is gonna wind up being close to her, and oh, she's probably. gonna trust him. For some mm. reason, I, fi- I feel like he might see Maureen doing something or something suspicious, and oh. she mi- he might report to her. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like that kind of might happen. That. Um, I thought that originally, but the past couple episodes, I haven't felt that as much. Yeah. But they'll probably come back to it. Yeah, it all comes around. Yeah. And because but. he's getting, he's he used to be like the outsider, yeah. right. and now he's becoming more, you know, in the circle or whatever yeah. and stuff like that. So, yeah, I can see it happening. Right. Um, okay, so back to Nick real quick. We see Nick go, you know, see Dale, the guy who took the pictures when we find out that he sold them to the Craig group. He mm-hmm. has, uh, you know, a gun to his head. So we, we continuously see this side of Nick, this angry, aggressive yeah. side of yeah. him. So I don't know um, if they're building that to distract us. And so we assume that he's the one that pulled the trigger on Aaron. Mm-hmm. I feel like that'd be too easy. But we'll it see. could be, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but you think Nick did it? No, I think Charlie did it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you Absolutely. think Nick had anything to do with it? Well, I mean, I think there was is obviously a relationship and was a relationship between Nick and Charlie, but I think ultimately, you know, Charlie's the one who made the decision to do it. I th- I don't know. I think there was some sort of instance when that was happening where Charlie may have thought it was what her husband wanted her to do to kill him for the better of whatever situation. You know what I noticed happening. that I wanted to right. make note of? Um, do you remember in the car when Nick stalked Charlie and he got in her car at the red light? Yeah. And she said, I found out that it's it's somebody, the texter is somebody from my team. He almost had a sigh of relief. He said, I think he <sighs> knows what she did. I think, I think that he, he really does. He has to know. Yeah. I think that he's just like, cool, like you're not on to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good. Yeah. You know, gosh, thank you. You know, so she thinks it's somebody from her team. And maybe <laughs> that's, but again, then that would still make my theory true. Like, okay, maybe sure. I'm working in with, you know, with Maureen and uh, you think it's somebody from the team. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh, should we give Maureen too much credit? I don't know. Oh, being maybe. behind this, I don't know. Maybe, but yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to go back to that scene that you just brought up about her and Nick in the car because she is first startled by him. Then Nick has a very bold statement saying, "Aaron's gone. Mm-hmm. You can move on," which is woo, so yeah. out of line. Nick, so out of line, but she's kind of okay with it. <laughs> not, right? not at first. She, she melts checked him. She did check him. She's about to have sex with him oh, in yeah. the car. She's oh, yeah. okay with it. <laughs> and just, then Nick gets stolen out of the car by who? I right. Is that the Creed group? Is that just, the is Creed. It the Creed I think group? it's the Creed group. And and uh, does. It, is the opening scene next one thing next episode gonna be that they take off the hood and they're like, buddy man, you you're taking it too close. Like <laughs> like, a, like yeah. are they really gonna That's a good hurt point, him maybe. or are they gonna be like, dude, what are you doing? Like she's about to find out it's you. That would be really interesting, actually. Uh, maybe I would he, like that. He could have even set it up. Like you know how people set up their own Yeah, yeah, it could Stop. be. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's Stop that's it. the way to clear his own butt, you know. Get the attention away from him once I'm again. Introduce that. a new suspect. Mm-hmm. That would make me really stoked if they did, if they did that. Yeah. That would be like, <laughs> oh yeah, guys. Yeah. Well, we'll just wait to do it. <laughs> but we do. So there's definitely something going on with Nick and Charlie. Then we, you know, we see that. Nick gets taken. Charlie then is going to see the message from Sid. I do believe that Sid is still a good, like he's, I don't know about good guy. I don't know about who's good, who yeah. warrants that word in this show. But I feel like Sid is on Charlie's side. I don't feel like he is uh, against her or trying to hurt her or throw her under the bus. Yeah, and he said it like a boss. You know, he said, listen, <laughs> number one, 
I don't have any. You know, he, you remember how he kind of yeah. laid it down to Nick? I like that. Number he two. Yeah, number go two. To hell. Exactly. Yes, that was a boss oh, move, Sid. Richard. Sid. I always call him Richard. No, that was really good. Um, so I do. So I trust his character. His character might be one of the only ones that I actually trust. Same here. I still think it's her dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm standing by that. It still really is not it's... her dad. I think it's her dad. Maybe, yeah. I, we, I thought dad. that. I was with you at first, but I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Stop, you guys. <laughs> who, who puts, well, because who puts, like, it would say dad in her phone, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, no. Because they're they're all, like, so much yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's just very code strange. Oh, yeah. Morse code. Boop, boop. <laughs> I don't know. All don't right, know. all right. So is, is there is there anything else that we kind of missed? Um, I know we go a little bit everywhere, but um, it's really fun talking about this show. Is there anything else you guys want to add before we move into some predictions and wrap it up? Yeah, no, I think yeah. I think for the most, because it was a little bit of everywhere. We were just trying to figure it out and roll with it, you know, roll yeah. with the show. So I think it was good, though. I think we broke it down, hopefully, pretty, pretty I well. I think so. I don't know. I don't have any. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we love that you guys watch out there. We love that, you know, rate us, give us some stars, give us some likes, tell us your comments, questions, anything that um, you think we missed. Let us know if you know who Dash was that the name? Yeah, Dash. Dash is. Let us know. And, um, you know, tune in next week. What do you guys think is coming up next episode? What do you think is going to happen? Go ahead, Hannah. Break it down. Oh, Break but it I got nothing this now, time. I'm like. You're after Buzz TV predictions. I think it's Charlie. That's the only thing I think we're going to get closer to. All right. Is that it may be Charlie who killed him. And they're all, I think they're all secretly trying to help her figure that out. Like the people who do know. I think Nick knows that she did it. And I think they're trying to like oh. help her figure that out because she's having all this. She's forgetting all these memories. She's refusing to deal with what really happened. So I think she's the one who did it. Well, we do see flashbacks that she's doing a lot. Will there yeah. be a flashback of, like, is that scene where Aaron's looking at the camera, Aaron really looking at Charlie? God, I hope so. Oh, yeah. yeah. With something you, to think about. What okay, you think uh, over there, girl. Besides Maureen, what you think? Well, you know, I gotta write that. I have to write it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna piggyback off of Hannah too, because I definitely. She's like, yes, because yes. I think that there, because I put the two and two together when Charlie first said, "I want to kill people too." She was, right. when she said that yeah. in the very beginning of the show. That's something. To look but was at. she? But that that almost seems too obvious to me. I don't care. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it to you guys. It's our prediction. I'm, okay, so, I'm gonna give it to you. And then at the guys. end, <laughs> at the end, how the uh, how they were all, you know, the president is starting to know. She says, "Well, what was what were you doing with Nick's gun?" So yeah, there there's got to be something there, some tie there. Oh, yeah. So it's but let's not mistake this. I still think that Nick is up to something. Nick has something to do with something and Maureen is working together with Nick because she's on the seventh floor. Remember, they said the seventh floor and, and Maureen is on the seventh floor. All right, I'm like, just kidding. And, there, and you heard it here first there after Rose TV. Um, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say, though, that I think the president and Charlie are, we see in the coming attractions that the president is like, put a surveillance on Charlie. I feel like once she says put a surveillance on Charlie, she's going to turn around and tell Charlie, I had to do this, so watch your back. Like, I feel like she still has that, keeping that eye out for Charlie. For some, I could totally be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully we find out what happened. Yeah. Um, Can I put that disclaimer on mine, too? I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, we could all be wrong. I and we want to hear your wrong. theories. Some of the theories and comments that we're getting are so good, guys. We really, yes. really appreciate you guys taking the time watching and giving us some, some stuff to, you know, think about. Yeah, some great theories. Um, all right, cool. Can you guys tell the people where they can find you? You can find me at... Robin Ayers at Robin Ayers A Y E R S. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at Hotshot Dude and on Twitter at Hannah Kathleen Two. And you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Steph Z. Thanks for watching and listening, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.